Okay, so now we have now we have the front feeder. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I don't like that. Yeah. And I can also keep an eye on activity. Hello, B. I hear you buzzing around my yeah. head. That's okay. You see there, yeah, we need... Okay, but the good news is there are no dead bees. In here. Good. Yay! Let's see if I can get a little closer and see. Okay, okay there's still plenty of yeah, there's juice. still plenty of juice, but that's fine. Yep. Remember, they're probably also finding stuff too. Right. And there are oh your bees. Oh my goodness! Look at all my bees. Yep. All your bees. There they are. The other day. So that's so. What they'll do is when it's cold like that, mm -hmm. like yesterday, right? They'll all cluster in the middle like that. Okay. And they'll keep them warm. I see. So, and there's actually not too many bees coming up to feed, which okay. means that they're going out and finding stuff. Well, I was standing about here the other day. Um, let's see. We put them in Tuesday, so Wednesday. I was standing here, and they were all flying by me over my shoulder. So I turned around to look to see where they might be going, and I saw the pine trees, and I thought, aha, yeah, they're, that's they're where they're going. So, and they were all, you know, flying in and out, in and okay, out. You see her, she's got a little bit of pollen on her leg. Okay. Um, that is what I'm going to do this week, is try it when it gets warmer, hopefully. Yeah, just if you just come and stand here and watch them as they go in and out. Yeah. Um, these, a lot of these are just guard bees right now because I, I disrupted them. Oh, okay. And they're, they're kind of ear pollen on their legs. Okay. It'll look like they have little tumors on their on their back legs. Right. Okay. But they don't. They, okay. they, that's their shopping bags. Oh, okay, cool. So they, it's, that's what they use to put the pollen in. Right. And um, like I said, I just I put something new there. So they're going to investigate and, you know, see right. if it's something that they need to, you know, attack or whatever. Right. So the new thing is called a what? It's, it's called an entrance feeder. Entrance feeder. Okay. And what I usually do is um, I put two mm -hmm. on mine. But remember, I go out to mine every day. Right. Um, the top feeder's fine. Um, they haven't, I mean, they, they, they've eaten some of it. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you mind opening the lid just one more time? I wasn't fine. rolling when you did that, so I oh, just want to... So, I thought I was, but yeah, I wasn't. No, no, there, there, there's okay. your feeder. So there's still plenty of sugar yeah, water the, in there. Yeah, there's still plenty. Now, it's only been like three, four days, so right. the, I wouldn't expect them to eat a whole entire gallon in, one, right, right. <laughs> in three or four days. Right, so. and, they, and they also, it sort of shows, too, that they're getting um, nectar or whatever from other places. Right, so... so you know, I mean, it has gone down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, hi. Um, <laughs> like, I'll just land on All you. Right. That's fine. Right. But the good news is there aren't any, and there aren't any dead ones. And there are no dead ones. That's yeah. excellent well, news. I have a, a, a um, my little my my wild caught hive. They're kind of they're kind of idiots. Um, <laughs> they're they're still not building comb on frames. Oh. They're just willy nilly doing comb wherever they want to. It's right. very, very upsetting. Oh. I, I, don't, I mean, I guess it's fine because that's what they want to do. Right. Um, hey, you're, you're not supposed to be on there. She doesn't care. You know, and I noticed the other day, and I'm sure it's perfectly normal, when they would come out of the hive, it would be like they're coming out upside down. Yeah, it's and, and then they'd fall on the entrance and then turn around and fly off. Yeah, they're, they're just being silly. And it's like, okay, so yeah. what's up with that? Then, yeah, they're, they're just being silly. Yeah, and there's one do, kind of doing it now. Yeah, I mean, they're just... They're That's just cool. Things. That's cool. Um, sometimes you'll see them if they're like up there, if they're on top of here or even there, you'll see their, their back end go like, like in and out. Right. So they don't have lungs. Oh, okay. And they also don't have nostrils. Right. They have, um, they're called air sacs. Right. And... They're on their ab. Gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty yeah. They don't have noses. Okay. They have tongues though. Tongues, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to. I have a long lens that I'm going <laughs> to attach, and I'm going to try and get some really good close-ups of There's tongues and pollen pockets and yeah. all those little things. So. But yeah, I mean they're they're fine. They look yeah. just like my 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 new hive. Good. Um. You know, now That's they fair. have a little bit, I mean, not that they needed any extra food, but. Right, right. But now they have another source that they mm -hmm. can get. It. That's good. So, okay. It's nice to see them, see yeah. them moving around. Yeah, they're all moving around here. As cold as it was yesterday, I knew they were staying in and staying warm. Yep. But it did worry me. I thought, oh, I yeah. hope they didn't move on or freeze no, to no, death. No, 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 <laughs> they're, they're, they're clustering. 
Yeah. And they really will make this really tight ball in the middle of the right. um, and one or two may go out, mm -hmm. but it, it won't be like like today. Like right. tomorrow, it's supposed to be near 70. Yeah, there'll be a flurry of of, um, of them going out okay. and everything. Right. But they have they have food. They're not going to starve to death. Right. Good. Um, I doubt they would swarm because I didn't see any right. queen cells. Right. So, like, why would they swarm? Right. They have a home and they have food. Right. Right. <laughs> so. Well, I was trying to explain. I think it was to my boss about why they swarm and the queen cells and all that so as we as we see them those things i want to show details of that if it, possible so you probably won't see any queen cells this year okay good um because they're still small right to this year is just going to be pretty much just building up stores right okay um and once they fill up this box then we'll just put in we'll put another box okay. on top and then and, and then and, we'll probably have to split it. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, then we'll have so more. So you can see she's got pollen all on her legs. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if I can get in on her. Yep. She, she found some pollen. I don't know what kind of pollen. Well, we have the pear tree is blooming up in front of the greenhouse. So that, that might be it. I don't know what yeah. color pear pollen is. I don't either. Hello there. I know. You don't yeah, like look me. at that. Oh, my goodness. You are loaded there, honey. Mm hmm go yeah, very good and this apple tree right behind us is budded i mean it is going to go nuts mm -hmm. there's two of them so yep. they're gonna they're not gonna have far to go let's put it that way <laughs> oh, that's cool very good yeah mine are all over my dandelions in my yard that's why i still haven't mm -hmm. moved my lawn right because um, i feel bad right they are going to the dandelions right my yard is a hot mess. I'm pretty sure the county is going to come after me at any time. I brought you more sugar water. Okay. That's how you know you're a beekeeper is when your whole entire kitchen is sticky. <laughs> That's how you know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but now they're fine. Okay, good. They're fine. Great. They have food, they're eating, they're flying around, yep. everybody's in there. And so today is Friday. April 17th, 2020, and Nicole was going to come today to um, check on the bees, but it was so cold this morning, we decided to wait until Sunday, but I thought I would come down and check on them, because I was a little worried, because it's been so cold this week, of whether or not they were okay. As you can see, as you can see, they're doing just fine try and get in here a little closer. I don't have my suit on because I honestly thought they would not be out. Kitties, don't go near there. Hey, 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 Odie. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was going to say we almost witnessed a cat getting stung. So they are coming in and out. They're doing quite well. It's nice to see. So I think we're going to plan on Sunday of having the um, Nicole come over and we will fill up the uh, sugar solution inside and check on the bees and see how they're doing. So it's still Friday, April 17th, 2020. I called Nicole because the bees were out and flying around foraging. So she's on her way over and we're going to take a look and give them food right now. And here she comes. Yay! Drown. Yeah, and they did drown, but I think a raccoon or somebody knocked the, the jar, so. Yeah, there's a couple dead ones here. I'm surprised they haven't yeah. removed the dead bodies yet. Come on, Undertaker bees. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Come on, do the job. Oh, I see them right there in the yeah. uh, cup. So apparently bees, um, when a bee dies, uh -huh. Bees don't know that it's dead okay. until it starts releasing um, a smell, right. a chemical. Right. And oh, good, there's no dead ones in here. Oh, oh look at them all! Look at them all! Hold on a second. Look at them all climbing up. Yeah. The, to get to the nectar. Oh, that's cool. Wait, oh yeah, 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 they're all climbing. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's a good sign that that's... they are eating from there. Oh yeah, that's they good. are eating. Yeah. So let's let's take a look. Looks heavy. Oh, there they all are. Hi, babies. Hey, ladies. 
So oh. there's more than there were than there was a week ago. Uh huh. Or two weeks ago. Okay. So. Ooh, they have. They have sealed that. Yes, I know. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Can you hear them swarming? Kitties, you better stay away now. Yeah, kitties, don't come near. Okay, so this is good. Okay. I'm just going to take one or two more because I want to Yeah. Break. So they're starting to build comb on. They're starting oh, to build wonderful. Comb. So all the yellow. Yeah. Oh, oh no, and, this, and this it's is, bubbled out. I don't... I well, that, this probably, is actually one of the old ones, but this still oh, has pollen okay. in it. Okay, good. So that's fine. All right. Ladies, you have to move. You're all over my camera. <laughs> I thought I had my my uh, and they're hitting my legs here, so I'm going to back up a little bit. So they're still still hanging on to. They tend to really like their old frames. Mm-hmm. Right. And here's a new frame. I think this is a new one. Maybe it's not. But I do see they're building comb and there's honey in there. I'm going to walk on the other side and get face you. We've got a couple swimmers in there too. Oh no, we got to scoop them out. Yes. Oh, we got to scoop That's why I got the fork. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh. I got a fork. Okay. And actually, if you take the swimmers and. All right. Come on, guys. Go. Three. So another important tool for beekeeping is, is a fork. Is a fork. <laughs> and if you actually put them, you'll see the, the, the um, oh, goodness gracious. Ladies. They will start to clean each other off. Oh, cool. So if you come over here and watch, they will okay. come and Oh my goodness, I just saw one with a lot of pollen on its yeah. legs. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right, let's cover this up. Yeah. Okay, see them cleaning? The bees are cleaning each other off. Yeah, so the ones that had honey on them? Yeah. You can see them right here. They've all congregated around yep. each other. And they will clean their partners off. Great. And um, give them about a half an hour and they will have cleaned all them off. Wow. Yep. Very good. And they'll clean up the um the little droplets here. Right. You can see them right there. Their their little tongues are out. Right. And they're eating their they're eating the sugar water. So fun, fun, fun. Very good. So I don't see any drone yet. Okay. Which is fine. Okay. That's actually a good thing. Okay. Because mites um, like drones. I'm looking at this clump. There's a clump of uh, comb right there. Yeah, that's fine. I know, but I, I was just wondering. Yeah, there you go. I wanted to see that. Yeah, now they're just, building that up because that wasn't there when you put it in, I don't think. Um, I think it probably was. Oh, was it? Okay. This is just, you can scrape that yeah. off. I wouldn't, though. I no, would just, leave, just it. leave it. Just leave it. Since you're not really interested in getting honey out of Not them, yet, not yet. Yeah, so we'll Later. just let them just do their thing. I'm kind of just... Okay, so these are all the worker bees. These, these are, are all females. All females. Yep, these are all females. Mm -hmm. And that is... I don't see any drone. Okay. So that's, that's actually a good thing. Okay, good. Um, when you start seeing a lot of drone is when you will start worrying about them swarming mm -hmm. and about mites. Okay. Mites? Because mites love to lay, to get onto drones. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, and those are called the varroa mites? Yeah, varroa mites. They're from China. And they they're from over China. Here. Yes, lovely China. There we go Gives again. Yeah, and that I think I read where they were sort of first seen in 1987. Yep. And, and it's um, been a pest so ever since. So probably, yeah, they've been a problem ever since. So what's gonna what we're gonna do is probably in late May, mm -hmm. depending on the weather, okay. we will do something called a sugar roll test. A sugar roll. Roll. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take out um, a frame of bees. Okay. And we'll try to make sure that the queen's not on it. Mm -hmm. And we will shake it into um, a basin. Okay. And we'll scoop out a fourth of a cup of bees. 
Okay. That's approximately 300 bees. Whoa. We'll put it in a mason jar. We'll put some sugar, powdered sugar on it. Then we'll shake them up. Oh my and goodness. And cover them with sugar. Okay. It doesn't hurt the bees. Okay. And then we'll wait a few minutes and then we'll dump, we'll shake out all the sugar. Uh huh. And then we'll put water on it and we'll count how many mites are, oh, have okay. come off the bees. Okay. And that will tell us whether or not we have to treat with um, oxalic acid. Okay. All right. So. Very good. So we do, um, that, we do that a couple times a year. Okay. And that's, um, that's normal. That's just to keep the mite population down. You're not going to kill all the mites. Right. But the less drone you have, the less likely you'll have um, a mite problem. Okay. And the mites, come on, girls, get out of the way. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, they're over here. I know. Oh, move, move, move. Come on, everybody move. <laughs> I know. They, the, the, the more you move them, the more they want to I like. know. They're like, no, no, I want to be there. Okay. I think. So, um... Okay. Oh yeah! Oh, that just brought back. Um, she just ran into the hive. She had a bunch of really bright orange. Orange? Yeah, I saw the orange too, and I'm trying to figure out what in the world has she got on her. And there's bees coming up to get the sugar yeah. water. So good. that's a good thing. So they're actually doing really well for only being here for about a week, yeah. like two weeks. Um, just almost two weeks. Yeah, yeah. almost two weeks. So yeah. they're actually doing really, really well. You can see all the bees. Yeah. So they've all come out to. Get the, the sugar water, and of course we're here, so they're a right. little pissed off. Right. They're, uh, <laughs> they're saying, what are you doing here? Exactly. Uh, you're bothering like, me. Um, you're bothering us. Leave yeah. us alone. We're doing our thing. Right. So. And these are and these are all female. All females. And these are the ones that are going out and foraging. Yep. And I. And, well, some of them are nurse bees. Some of them are, are janitor bees, but eventually they will all become uh, foragers at some point. Right. In the next couple of weeks. So. And earlier I did a short little well it'll be a part of this video uh, showed the two new apple trees are planted this week yeah I saw them that's fantastic yeah. and the apple tree is blooming right next to the hive and the blueberries are just going nuts they are loaded with blueberry blossoms so, so yeah so they're getting yes. um look at the, look at her on the fork <laughs> sugar yeah, actually, like, uh, I tell you they go crazy for this stuff yeah yeah. Yeah, make sure you always put the lid back on. Oh, yeah. My goodness, they will just go crazy for so it. So we don't need any more in no. the, in the no, big no. hive? They're, they're, they're big, fine right okay. now. Like I said, it, it's such a good year. Yeah. Um, that the sugar water might not be. Go, move, move, move. There you go. There you go, girls. So. Okay. So that's it. That's how you check a hive real quick. Great. But they're doing great. No worries. Everything great. looks good. They're doing what they're supposed to. Uh huh. And now you just let them be. Leave them be, we will. Thank you for watching part two of learning about bees. And we hope to see you the next time when we have more to show. And we'll get a little closer in to see different cells and bees and maybe even the queen. Thank you. Bye.